Hi all, um, I thought I'd do a video of uh, a solo install, um, I know quite a few people have been doing this so um, yeah I got this from Solar Camp Solutions um, you know, and Roger's been really helpful um, so I decided on um, two 100 watt panels I'll just show you through what's in the box I guess that I've already taken out but um, you can see that they come quite securely actually they come in like, like a wooden frame so they're, they're, they're definitely secure in transport um, so I've just taken those off and clipped those and then in terms of what's in the box so you get um, a MPPT controller that's 7515 um, so that's a Bluetooth version get some sweets which is really good um, you get um, I've got on top this um, sort of female uh, sort of uh, connection for because um, I'm actually getting an EcoFlow um, box to um, also charge or triple charge, um, which should divert all the power to the leisure initially, and then any excess it should then divert it to the uh, EcoFlow through that cable. Um, I have also got also obviously the instructions, which I'm going to definitely read through, um, and then I've got a curly retractor cable that can go around the back of the uh, door. Um, so when the roof goes up, etc., and if it's going to catch, uh, and then obviously the cables that attach to the, the battery, um, and then I think in terms of the solar cables, which are these ones here, attach them directly um, from the solar panel into the MPPT controller. Right. Um, so firstly, you get. Let me just go up here. Right. So firstly. You get these uh, little uh, adapters, I guess, um, for the roof. Um, obviously, I'm, I've got two solars, so I'm going to need to um, have four on each side. So I'm putting these in with the washers up. Um, so there's four on this side, and I'll do the same on the other side. And what I'll do, as soon as I've got it on the roof, um, so I'm just going to lay them on. I'll come back. So I'll fit the little spacers um, so you can see they're now sitting inside one there and obviously one there and then obviously the same uh, on the other side. Uh, now I think before I fit this I've got to fit the uh, cable uh, to the underneath to the other the other side of the panel before I um, screw it down. So. I'm going to add those in in a minute. Um, you can kind of see the ones that I haven't yet put on, but they're the, the spaces there, um, which are sitting tidy. I've got the solar panels attached. I've got all the brackets on. I've put all the wires underneath, just connecting them up. They're quite straightforward. Uh, so I've got the curly wire at the end there under that towel. Um, I've got a 10 mil um, socket, which I've used to tighten these up using the um, electric screwdriver um, so yeah all good at the moment that's uh, now they're all fitted now the I think the hard part is just now connecting it all to the MPPT controller and then obviously connecting it all to the battery um, I won't be showing the EcoFlow element uh, in this video because uh, I'm still waiting for delivery so um, once I get that I can uh, include a new video just uh, to talk through the EcoFlow and how that it works with the, the solar um, once I get familiar with it. Well. Right, I've removed the uh, back seats um, so I've got easy access to the leisure battery which is under here. But I think first I need to um, hook the curly cable through the grommet there, feed it through uh, under here and then I'll probably attach the MPP to controller here. Um, we'll see um, where the best place Right, sorry for the flicking backwards and forwards. Um, so what I've done is I've used these um, like builders. Uh, I used them for, I don't know if you see my webcam video, uh, for the dash cam. Uh, but I use these to use to feed through. They're sort of flexible. So you can get them from, you can get them from Amazon, etc. Um, so they're quite good. And all I've done is I've pushed it through um, the hole. Uh, you should see it goes all the way through and you just it just comes out the other side under here you can kind of see it if I wiggle it there you go 
and then what I do is I can connect uh, the cable from here uh, so I can connect this cable to the end and then uh, I'll tape it up and then I'll pull it through all right um, just a warning actually before you pull this through because I just did that make sure you cut the slit in here first <laughs> and put that through first before you push it through uh, the cabinet um, Right, next bit, I'm removing the battery, so all you need to do is there's a little bracket, hold it down uh, once you've taken that panel off. And um, yeah, well, I've got the battery out, um, I just thought I'd give you a quick um, tour of the um, sort of battery compartment and what to expect. So at the top there you've got the inverter for the mains once you plug in, um, so you can use the um, end of the cabinet sockets, etc. to plug things in. Um, obviously this battery here is quite heavy so I, I don't know if it's um, lead acid or if it is lithium, I'm not sure but um, I think this is the standard um, which comes with the VW California. Um, so what I've done is for now what I've done is taken the cable, this cable here and I have right down here, I've just um, pulled it through, it's really easy to do um, if you just feed it up through here first and then pull it out, uh, pull it through here, um, you'll be fine. Um, so I think next step is obviously connect these to the MPPT controller, um, which I'm gonna fit at the top here. Um, and then I'm gonna run this cable, uh, this cable up maybe up behind here, um, see if I can get it a bit tidier um, than running it all through here. Um, and then um, I'll connect this end here, I'll just get it here, this end here, to this bit here, this screw, so unloosen that screw, connect it in, and then you can tighten it. And then, you know, looking at the instructions um, for this, the actual negative will, will be connected to here, uh, this uh, where the retaining bolt was for the battery. Um, because it's not needed, um, which will help with the um, to make sure the control panel recognises the input um, ampage, etc. So I've hooked the solar panel up, and that's connected, and I've got the green light on there. Um, I've got the battery hooked up, but I haven't connected it yet to the battery. Um, do that last. Um, you can see I've, I've fed these up here, and actually. Um, so for the battery one, which comes through here and up, I've actually, it fits perfectly. There's a little indentation that goes all the way around the window and up. So you can't really see the wire going up because it's all, it's all black anyway. And then it goes up. Um, so that's worked out well. Um, so the next bit is to obviously hook this to the earth I just talked to and then this one to the live. And then I'll test it first um, before I put the battery away. Uh, and I think we're nearly there. Um, I've got one last bit, which I'll talk to at the end around the, the, the last one being the load. Um, so I've got a connection for that for just drawing um, straight from the MPPT controller um, because it sits in the middle. You can take, um, say, for, this is where I'm going to connect my um, EcoFlow. Uh, is it EcoFlow? Yeah, EcoFlow um, battery pack. Straight from here, using um, this connector, um, which is a 12, looks like 12 volt. And um, yeah, you can charge the EcoFlow using this, um, and it will just take. Uh, what's left of the solar um, once the leisure battery's got what it needs um, and use the, the leftover um, to charge that so yeah we won't hopefully we don't get too much wasted um, uh, solar all right let's see how that works right so I've, um, <clears throat> I've fixed finished off the solar panels by uh, tightening the bolts and then putting these black rubber pieces on each of the nuts um, so there's eight in total. Okay, so basically I've zip tied these two down, and then all the connectors 
um, basically go under under the solar panel and through here into here and then obviously there's the connector under here that connects the two panels together and then the curly cable comes all the way down here which I've tucked a little bit into here um, so it keeps it grabbed and then that allow the, when the roof goes up and down this can extend and then retract with it and then <coughs> obviously that comes into a little grommet here the bung uh, which I'll cut a little hole and that goes in and then um, I've put the uh, controller up here and you can see actually I've, I've actually velcroed this this is velcro so I can pull it off um, but it's solid um, it's stuck to and then I've just used the in the box uh, wire clamps um, to make it tidy keep it tidy um, but yeah I think that's quite um, quite a tidy job and then obviously tuck all the wires at the back um, the wire from the battery as I said comes up here so you, can, you can't really see it but it's tucked in between there's a little, little notch all the way down so that's been useful and that goes all the way down down here inside and then I've put it into the battery which is in here and I've covered it back up now right guys um, just the final bit I'm just showing um, what the charging rate is, so 3 amp, um, and I think that's because the voltage is already at sort of high level, so the battery is pretty full, um, so it reduces down the amp. Uh, amp. I mean, I'm not an expert on this at all, I'm learning. I'm learning as I go, and I'll be doing some reading on, you know, um, the battery voltage, watts, etc., and just making sure I know, um, know what it's all about. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video has been useful. Um, but yeah, till next time. Cheers. Bye.